We'll get to that, but first, our top story. Investigators in Isle of Wight are waiting for that call, the one that leads to a break in a child abduction case. This is a sketch of the man they're looking for. He picked up an 11-year-old girl at her Carrollton bus stop last week and sexually assaulted her. He has blonde hair, blue eyes, and a medium build. Deputies say the car he was driving looked like this one. It's a silver or light gray two-door Chevy Cavalier with a Virginia inspection sticker. And all new this weekend, investigators need your help locating a certain house. The victim said it's where one of the assaults happened. This house is old, it's collapsed, and it has a wooden frame, no shingles on the roof. HVAC units are in the front yard. Tenure sides Liz Palka was in Isle of Wight today, and Liz, this is sparking a lot of conversation at the dinner table. Yeah, and in more ways than one, first people want to spread awareness. They want this man to be found, and they want their kids to understand so they know how to handle it if they're ever in this terrifying situation. If somebody comes, you come running and screaming to the house, drop everything, don't even think about it. That's what Isle of Wight County parents and grandparents are telling their kids this weekend. They stop and ask you questions, run. The child abduction case has shaken families, so parents are taking the time to talk to remind their kids what to do. We talked about what um, people he should go to at school, so his teachers, the principals. We don't approach strangers. Um, when we're in the store, you, you stay with the group. He's never left alone by himself. Melody Jones' son goes to Westside Elementary, the same school as the 11-year-old girl. But investigators say she never made it there Wednesday. She was abducted at the bus stop. I do believe he said the teacher had discussed, you know, some sort of that nature to him. But I have already talked to him about it. Superintendent Catrice Pereira says the school division has been working with the sheriff's office, increasing security at bus stops and schools. We've also alerted our bus drivers. Um, as well as our teachers within the buildings. We're asking that they be extra vigilant. Um, <clears throat> to, again, we have to have eyes and ears everywhere. Deputies need you to be vigilant, too, because the suspect is still out there. The sheriff's office says they've gotten more than 100 tips so far, and they are looking for more. We have information for you on wavy.com. Check it out. Just look for the article on this story. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. Let's show you the picture one more time. It's a sketch of the man deputies say abducted an 11 year old girl. It was Wednesday morning at her bus stop in Carrollton. He assaulted her twice, deputies say, before dropping her off back near her home. We also know that he drove through at least Isle of Wight in Suffolk. So you're in the Suffolk area. Take a good look at this, too. If you recognize him, the car, or the description of that house we gave you at the top of the newscast, call the number on your screen. The area code is 757 365 6290.